Hi, this is a tutorial on how to get your purchased music out of iTunes and into iRinger to make a ringtone out of it. This is 100% legal, um, as long as when you unprotect your music, you use it for your own purposes. And you're not turning around and selling it or giving it away to people. Alright, let's get started. The first thing we have to do is get a, so a piece of software called Freecorder Toolbar. And what this software does is it records what you hear from your speakers. Now, there's a lot of what you hear recorders out there. But what makes Freecorder m way better than all the others is it gets an exact replica of the sound you are hearing on your computer. It doesn't just go into your sound card and start basically hold a tape recorder up to your speakers and push record. It doesn't work that way. It actually gets the binary, musical binary data that is, is being played by your speakers and it's an exact replica of what is on your computer. It's a wonderful program. It works great. So once you've downloaded it and installed it, you'll see a new toolbar in either Internet Explorer or Firefox. It works in both. Here it is. And it's very simple. All you do is you hit record and that's the end of it. Now the the audio content does not have to be inside your browser in order for, it records from any Windows application. So one thing I would do is once it's installed, go to settings. It's a button up here. You can't see it because it's kind of off the screen. Uh, go to settings and this will pop up and I would change it this mp3 output format to 192. I think it defaults at 128 but I would change it to 192 since most music uh, in your iTunes library is going to be a higher output format. This will preserve the quality. So basically it's going to get the audio data uh, from iTunes and then recompress it into uh, an mp3. So that's what we want. Hit close. The window will pop up and say not recording. All you have to do is hit record, it says recording, and then you don't even need your browser open anymore. You can just close it out. It's gone. So there, now we're recording. It's not recording anything right now. It's it, Nothing's playing on Windows. It's, it's a very smart application which will detect when something starts playing and record that. So now that we're recording, let's open iTunes. takes a bit. Well, I'm on Windows Vista, so it's a pretty slow operating system. All right, there we go. And already it's set on my purchased music. And I'm going to get this song right here, Somewhere Only We Know. Another cool thing about this is there's some artists out there that do not want their, ring, their music used as ringtones. Like 50 Cent, I think, is one of them. So if you purchase a song by 50 Cent and you right click and say create or a ringtone it'll say sorry this artist doesn't allow it blah 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 whatever for whatever reason he don't want it so this this will bypass that as well so right now we have it set to recording I'm going to double click on it to play it make sure your volumes all the way up I'm gonna keep it halfway down just so you can hear me talk double click and around here you can see this line start. Now you can see the line bouncing around that means it's found the audio and it's getting it and it's dumping it onto your hard drive. Now for demo's sake I'm not going to play the whole song, you don't need to. Um, let's just say I just want the beginning of this song. So what I'm going to do now is just hit pause and close. There's no reason to have it open anymore. We no longer need this to be recording so we can close that as well. We got that song segment. It's done. Now you got a 100% complete replica of that song and with n no protection on it. Now open iRinger, go to import. Now it's going to be in a directory in your documents called my recordings. And here it is, my recording February 27th at 1:55. That's when the recording started. It's 596 ki kilobytes because um, I only recorded the first 30 seconds of the song, which is all we need for demos purposes. So we open that. Now it's converting, and there's our song. So now you can do whatever you like. Change the si length. Slide it up to where you want it. Hit export. Export to iTunes. I'll do that quick just for the fun of it. Just, uh, 
go to iTunes. I'm going to call this Recorded Ringtone. I'm going to open iTunes. Again, this is, takes a little bit. <laughs> Maybe Microsoft will fix their operating system soon and you won't have to wait so long for programs to open. Okay, and now we go to the Ringtones tab. And I'm going to, it says recorded ringtone, export to iTunes, hit go. And now it should be in iTunes. And there it is. And as you can hear it, there it is. So that's all you that's all you need to do. That's a, a purchase song now is my own personal ringtone. It's very simple to do. Give it a shot. Watch this video again. It's it's really not anything to to just open your browser, hit record, open iTunes, and play the song. And uh, that should do it. If you have any questions, you can email me at info at iringer.net. And I guess that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.